always identify slope and intercept. Okay, so that I'm able to see when what will happen to the curve, right, when it changes the slope, and what would shift the curve as well. Okay, so from there we can actually draw right and draw the line, so downward sloping. Now, usually we don't let the curve touch the vertical axis because there's no such thing called zero income. But for the purpose of demonstration to show you the intercept, A bar over B2. But subsequently, when I do ISLM, you realize I won't touch this axis at all. Because in the economy, there will be zero income. Okay, so this is your IS. Okay, and your slope. Okay, is 1 minus C1 over B2. Please, uh, slope is a value. It doesn't have a minus sign one. Gradient then has minus. Alright, just remember slope, we are interested in the value. So you don't want to put a minus inside. If you put a minus, you complicate the thing and you get very lost yourself. Okay, so in this case, this is what we see. This is actually the slope of the IS. Alright, so if you can derive the function, you will get the intercept, you will get the slope. So this is the easiest version. But you could see if you are very systematic, Right, in listing your CI and G, writing out equilibrium income, restructure the equation, you will get it. Okay, now let's move to page 13. Now we have two other cases that are more realistic. Okay, they are actually more realistic. So in this case, you could see, we still assume that there is only one type of taxes. Okay, so in this case, we still assume proportional tax is zero. We pay only lump sum tax, okay? But for firms, there is now B1 and B2, right? So with these characteristics, again, we write out all our function, okay? So this is your consumption function, investment. So now there is a B1, then a B2I, and your government spending function. So I'm going to give you one minute, okay? Write out for me your IS function. Okay, should not be difficult, huh? And don't do excessive writing. Quickly group all the variables together. You need to show overly detailed steps. So AE, sum the three together. And if you finish, you can do case C. 